Lauren, thank you. In our coronavirus coverage tonight, California lifts its statewide stay at home order. That means outdoor dining can resume and limited capacity can resume for personal care services like nail and hair salons. We have team coverage tonight. CBS 47's Badaris Bab has reaction from the order being lifted. But first, CBS 47's Kirsten Mitchell joins us live with how city officials are addressing an anti mask. At the Sprout store over the weekend. And Kirsten, the city has now issued some guidance on how businesses should deal with customers who refuse to wear a mask. Right. Well, requirements like here at Sprouts, meaning they can't ask people to leave if they aren't wearing one. If they refuse to leave, Mayor Jerry Dyer says they can be cited or even arrested. You a licensed doctor? Listen, uh, are you all licensed doctors? After a heated confrontation between anti mask protesters and customers outside Sprouts Farmers Market Saturday. We're just trying to be healthy, and you guys are not allowing that. Yeah. Fresno Mayor Jerry Dyer with a clear message. Can you just please abide by the mask rule in our city? And if there is a business that requires a mask, would you just wear it? The group protesting Sprouts' mask policy also went to Total Wine a few weeks ago, Trader Joe's. Council member Mike Carbasi. You can't say you support business when you're willing to do that. You can't say you support rights when you're taking away someone's ability to earn. Dyer says the police department, which does not enforce mask mandates, can be called by business owners if someone trespasses. If the officer sees the violation, they may cite or arrest the person. If they don't see it, the store owner or employee may conduct a citizen's arrest. Dyer defending an officer who took a photo with anti-mask protesters, saying it was not a showing of support for their cause. That officer was simply taking a photograph with a, uh, a, a fellow citizen in the community who asked to do that. Police Chief Paco Balderrama reminding his department to avoid photos at politically driven events and planning to meet with the group protesting in hopes of coming to an understanding. We do not need any more confrontations like we've had this weekend. They're unproductive. All they do is create a divide in our community. And the city is also asking businesses to find a spot outdoors, possibly a parking lot or a sidewalk, somewhere protesters can gather away from entrances. Reporting live in Fresno, Kirsten Mitchell, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Kirsten.